Uh, another war going on here. Saxony's, or another battle. Yeah, they're getting a little fucked. And then more and more join in. Austria might actually win that last one. They've got a numbers disadvantage, but where are my troops? Here? Yeah, we need to recover a lot. Uh, <laughs> oh, lose a bunch of money. Yeah, okay, cool. War exhaustion's high. Uh, cool. Uh, we'll just stop that. Actually, Austria won that one. Huh. They would still accept a white peace, so we still, at any moment, can can leave. Uh, our navy has been attacked. Why is our navy up here? They were, they were exploring. I thought I said America, not Atlantic. Well, that's fine. We're killing them. <laughs> okay. Uh, good job, Austria. Thanks. A good ally, Austria. I like that Austria is helping me become the emperor. I don't think they know that that's what they're doing, but it's what they're doing. Ooh, oh shit. Okay, uh, that's a lot of troops up there. I don't really want to go in that direction. Although they are pretty low morale, but ah. Uh, somebody, please let's uh, oh, let's stay near other allies. I think is what we need to do here. So like, let's go sit next to Austria. One of their bigger stacks. Just so that, like, if we get attacked or they get attacked, we can mutually help each other. You know? Just make sure that we're not gonna... I don't like that they're unseaging that. Would you accept Switzerland? Oh, fuck yes. Ugh. Ugh. Separate peace, the guys you don't care about. The problem is coalition wars. I didn't know this. You cannot separate peace, or else I would have done that immediately. Uh, might want to get the fuck out right now. Austria is falling to rebels. I agree completely. Um, if Austria leaves, we are basically fucked, and the war score is going to go very heavily in their direction. Whereas right now, they would accept Switzerland becoming our, our vassal. So I think what we do here is we take Switzerland... And we leave. Uh, we take Switzerland as a, as a vassal, which will mean we'll have one guaranteed elector. We can't even take any money. We can take a little bit of money. Uh, and then we just, we're just fucking out. I think that's the best course of action. Uh, we, we won this coalition war. Austria is not happy because they expect more shit. But Austria, it's because of you that we are not getting anything else. So, I mean, I guess technically you haven't done anything wrong yet, but I expect you to. And that's your fault. <laughs> Friesland is Protestant, Frankfurt is Protestant, Austria is soon going to be Protestant, which is not good. Really not good. But, we got Switzerland as a vassal. They despise me, but whatever. Oh, this music's interesting. <laughs> uh, Liberty Desire, 55%. Yeah, whatever. The nice thing is, they still have to vote for me, right? Why are they voting for Austria? <laughs> Oh, they're very close to voting for me. It says negative 210, but then I hover over and it says 29, so it's just gotta update. And I've gotta make them like me a little bit. They probably have to not be rebellious, which makes sense. Yeah, I don't like that we they're still voting for Austria, but it doesn't matter. I mean, some of these other people are actually... Give us 40... Oh. Oh! Oh, I see. I thought that was like how it had to be over one to get... Oh, no, they're not even close. Yeah, I was reading that wrong. Uh, yeah, so it's def this number is actually correct. It's not great. Um, we're working on it. Crest expansion a little high, but we already uh, fucked up most of our guys, so... Can you do anything else? Circumnavigate the globe. You'll probably die, but I really don't care. So, <laughs> good luck. Oh. Oh. If I allow this colony to go reformed, it will immediately finish. I think that's fine because we'll just convert them later. 
And we really would like to get our colonists moving a little faster, so I think I'm just gonna do that. Otherwise, I lose 400, which is not what I want. So yeah, Eric's Fjord is done. It's reformed, but we'll just fix that later. It's negative 25 for a while, but not forever. I don't think. I don't think it's forever. Uh, now, we can actually make it to America. What's the best province around? Uh, 11, 10, 10, 10. It seems the best province is up here. There's also a 10 there. Uh, that's already taken. Uh, yeah. Go there. Nice. Savoy expands further. Savoy is fucking unstoppable. Especially when Switzerland starts to like us. They're disloyal. Please, please don't. They would not royal marriage because of government. Oh, right. Uh, right. France. Thank you. Oh, fuck. We're back with France, which makes me feel a lot safer. Uh, I can intervene with England. This makes sense. I'm allied with France. Go to Boston. Boston. Uh, I don't think I'm going to Boston. I think this is like... Where exactly would this be? Like, Maine? I think that's Maine. I think I'm going to Maine. It works. That's good enough. All hail Austria, I guess. Uh, until they go Protestant. We'll still be allies, which is nice. Uh, it's interesting that they don't hate me for the whole taking over an elector. I thought that was just an instant everyone hates me, but no. Now, did they change it to where having a vassal does not guarantee being an elector, or is it just because he dislikes it? Uh, why did it say a military leader left? I should have read that, because I didn't know that, like, he just walked out. Honestly, that's fine. I don't need it, because we have our ruler. But still, I'm a little confused. Uh... Let's bring our troops home. I don't know why we didn't do that before. Go right in the middle of our wall and start uh, start training. New colonization expired. We need, to, we need to do that again. Right? I believe we need to do that again. Uh, they need more influence. Well, how the fuck am I supposed to do that? Give them land? I don't want to give them land. Uh, New World Missions, they gotta have more influence. Well, I can give them influence. I can give the clergy influence. But they still don't have enough. Fuck, what am I... Sp I don't want to give them more... Li okay, I guess we're just not gonna have very fast colonies right now. Whatever. Their influence will go up with... We'll have some event later, I'm sure. Like, one of these will expire and we can do it. Maybe. We're on our second loan. Oh, yeah, I didn't, uh... That's fine. We're making money. We actually have three loans. Uh, but we're still making money. It's the point at which the interest gets so high that you're no longer making money. That's the point at which things become... You, you can't handle it. We haven't even turned off forts, and we're still making money. So, uh, we should be fine. We should be able to pay these off. In our... In our Pretty okay amount of time. I think all that in like uh, all that investing I did on uh, oh that's not huh that's that's not Granada. I thought that was gonna be okay. Uh, yeah, I think all that investing I did early on with like fucking twenty temples is helping a bit. Oh, what do we need from Sweden? Uh, money or some power? Or no, wait. Money, diplomatic aid, manpower? Manpower is not really... That would be not bad. But money... Really money? I don't know how much they actually give you. But if it's a, if it's a significant amount, I mean, yeah, I'd fucking love some money right now. Uh, number of states. Yeah, sure. There's nothing... We don't even have any admin ideas, right? Yes. <laughs> so I guess, yeah, that makes sense. We can make more states. Um, we want to do the states that are bigger, right? Which seems to be surprisingly 
Ireland. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, and then also... This part of Norway. Which means we might want to conquer these other bits of it. That's fine. We might do that. Who kn I don't know. And Leinster. Which again... Are we going to go to war with England? That's, I guess it's fine. Whatever. I, we could also have saved those states, but saving is for is for pussies. A helping hand. A hundred bucks? Oh, that's pretty fucking good. Oh, okay. Well, thanks, Sweden. You just paid off a loan for me. Oh, nice. Okay, well, Sweden's a not, not a bad little ally. Big ally. Big ally. Austria's getting fucked by rebels. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised by that. That's We kind of noticed that earlier, the fact that Austria might... Oh, wait. Uh, I mean, like, it's not looking good, but it could look worse. Um, huh. Yeah, they might become Protestant, but they're also Hungarian separatists. Hungary, like, hardly even exists anymore. <laughs> the, them getting more land would not help much. Oh, Hungarian separatists against the Ottomans, too. Oh, that would actually be fucking great. Oh, those are special Ottoman things. Um, the Ottomans are at war with the Mamluks. <laughs> great! Oh, that's good. Uh, are, the, are the Ottomans still the strongest country in the world by far? Yes. They are actually almost at max force limit uh, because of mercenaries. But the fact that they can afford 66 mercenaries, I think, also says something. Uh, we could take a quick look at their economy. If we're lucky, they might be, f you know, dying. Uh, no. No, they make a lot of money. They make a lot of money. That's cool. Alright, well, I mean, we make a good a bit, good amount too, but like a tenth of what the Ottomans make. So, yeah, the Ottomans are gonna be a problem. It's not even a problem that we can, like, creatively solve. Like, if they were just on this ha half of the world, we could barricade it, you know, as long as we had a better navy, it wouldn't be too bad. Uh, but it's, it's, it's not that kind of problem. We might be able to get creative and do something like that. Like, trap their armies on this side. Like, maybe distract them by allying with someone down here. They go down to do that. We Or, like, maybe they're at war down here, like how they are right now with the Mamluks. We declare war now, get some boats in here, block them off. And as long as we can keep that and keep their boats from getting across, we should be fine. The problem being that I think their boats are also... One of the strongest. Uh, but Venice is stronger. Well, that's something. That's something, at least. England also has more heavies. Um, so, naval... Naval battles, the Ottomans might be able to lose. Land battles, they are absolutely destroying everyone. But the fact that Venice can field a navy bigger than the Ottomans makes me think that maybe we have a chance later on of fielding a navy as big as the Ottomans. And maybe we can we can work with that. Uh, yes, this sounds great. More conversion shit is actually really good. Uh, printing press is invented. Did we invent that? Can we invent something one time? I'd, I'd like to invent one. Of, no. Close. At least we'll get it really fast. Why does... <sighs> this is a bit of the problem with this new institution system. New as in quite old. But, uh, why is no guy? Why do they have the renaissance? Why does Mali... Why is Mali currently figuring out how to do colonialism? Like, it seems like this new system just ends up to where every country in the world becomes westernized. Whereas that doesn't even make any fucking sense. The game after this, in Victoria 2, you better fucking believe half the countries in the game are not westernized. I think half. I don't, I don't know about that. That's that number I pulled out of my ass. I'm just saying, like, a lot of them. Venice gets naval bonuses, though. True. True. Uh, Venice could also be a good ally because of that. But also, we need to get through Venice to complete our wall. So that's the problem. We could maybe vassalize them. Also, yeah, what are our bonuses? We get bonuses for vassals, but I forget what they are. Uh... Income, plus 25. That's pretty nice. Um, diplomatic annexation, minus 25. I think that will, I think that's the vassal one, right? 
Diplomatic Reputation, one more Relation, and then also Vassal Force Limit Contribution, which is huge because it doubles it. Uh, so we do have some stuff that will help quite a bit for Vassals. Nothing up here. Nah. Other than just having another Relation. But so we are making more money from Vassals right now. Uh, which is still currently zero. We have no Vassals. That's not true. What do you call Switzerland? <laughs> what? We have no vassals. Switzerland is our vassal. I don't understand. We're making money from them. I think. No, that's just their money. Am I taxing them zero? What's going on? They're paying zero because they're disloyal. Well, that makes sense. That, that makes perfect sense. Uh, we could maybe grant them a province. I don't know if I want to do that. Pay off their debt. Oh, I didn't mean to... I thought that would give me a... Oh. Well, it's probably still a good idea. I meant to just click that so it would give me a tooltip. You know, like a little thing that pops up. Are you sure? Because it'll have this and this and this ex this effect. Uh, but actually, now they're not disloyal, so... I guess that works for me. I probably still would have done that anyway, so that's fine. Um, well, now they should be giving me money, and they are. So yeah, that's just an investment. Need more admin. I need a lot more admin. It's a uh, pretty thick. Well, we can only see the tip of them, so I don't really know if we can... One of our vessels has been lost. Oh, I forgot we're trying to circumnavigate the world. You're doing an alright job. You're not gonna make it. <laughs> you're gonna fucking die for sure. Oh, you're trying to head back. Oh, good luck. Oh, there... Oh, oh I thought he died. Uh, good luck. Nope, he's dead. That's fine. I didn't really need him. I can't explore much more right now anyway. Oh, yes, I can. Because I just cored this. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I may have fucked that up. Uh, whatever. That's fine. We'll have more money eventually. And we'll build more. We Did we lose it? We probably lost our guy, too. Yeah, of course we did. He fucking was in the ocean and it sank. Hmm. Well, whatever. It was stupid, but I, I stand by my decision. International book market. Trier sells more books, and paper goes up. Do we do we make paper? I don't think we do. I think I don't. Oh, what is this song? Sounds really familiar. Mm. Oh, it's 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 Mario. Yeah, we don't make paper. Trier does, though, and we might... We would kind of want to vassalize them. They would accept an alliance. But not a vassalization, because they're fucking huge and an elector. Switzerland still does not vote for me, which I'm a little upset about. I thought that was the whole fucking point. Right? Being in a vassal does make it plus 50, but I thought it was guaranteed. Like, I'm in charge of you. I mean, it'll... Once it goes up, it'll be... In seven years, they'll probably vote for me. So it's it's an investment. Have we found Granada yet? No, I still do not know where their colonies are. Which... Uh, it, I think they were right here. I hope they didn't get taken over. Because I don't see them. None of this looks like it could be it. They definitely had colonies, though. I think. Didn't we see something that led us to believe that? I mean, they have... No, that's the Papal States. I don't know what the fuck you're doing, Papal States. They... I'm pretty darn sure they had colonies. They definitely have the ideas for it. But yeah, I hope they didn't get, like, burnt down or something. They don't actually have a full colony, though. There's one thing. Like, they haven't, like, split a guy off, so that means they have less than five. But that doesn't mean anything. I mean... Norway's got less than five. I've got fucking less than five. Doesn't mean they're not there. Ooh, Catholic. Uh. Oh, fuck yes. Austria stayed Catholic. Very nice. All right. We will have to probably take a little bit from Austria eventually to make this wall. Uh, we could do a kind of a coat. Well, we'll see. Genoa is definitely next. They're, they're, they've kind of walled us off because of uh, Switzerland. Oh no, wait. Can we... Can we just go to war with Venice? Can we build a... Can we get claims on Venice? No, we can't. That's what I thought. 
Uh, Genoa, we have no Casas Belli. Okay, so we'll work on that. That's next order of business. Other than perhaps Trier, which I don't, they might be too big. I don't know. <laughs> Trier might be too big to take over. Uh, who are the other options? Everybody's fucking big. Bohemia. Cologne. Oh, this guy? Oh, that's part of Cologne. Clones pot. I mean, a big, big vassal would be good. I'm just afraid they're going to be too big and we can't make them a vassal because it would cost more than 100% war score. But I think probably Trier is a good choice. They do border us as well. And they're central. So they're not on the outskirts. And we're just taking the outskirts. So, yeah, it's probably good. Ottomans got more rebels. I doubt they're really going to be a problem for them. I think they won their war as well. Uh, they did. They didn't take that much, but they did win it. I feel bad for the Commonwealth. <laughs> uh, Cologne is your best bet. Well, they'd be the easiest for sure. Trier doesn't have any big allies either, though. Oh! Oh! Oh. Trier is allied with Cologne, so if I declared war on Trier, Cologne would come in and we could maybe get both. Probably not, but we could maybe get both. But Cologne is allied with Austria, so I cannot declare war on them, or else... These, you know, Trier would come in and Austria, which I don't want. So Trier is definitely the choice. I would believe. Other than maybe Aachen. Or, no, wait, no, Aachen isn't one. Uh, a bunch of people fleed. Okay, because we're doing religious persecution. Oh, that's fine, I like that. Get out. I can't do anything yet, though. We have five fucking cardinals. Commonwealth has seven, though. <laughs> I don't even think we have that. 27% uh, chance. That's not bad. Re reformed in Corsica. Oh, please stop. Just stop it. Stop with this shit. Do you see the Muslims, like, the hordes coming at us? Stop with this proddy bullshit. New idea, more mercenaries. I don't think that's really worthwhile. We'll save up. Lost a claim on Luca. Whatever. We'll, yeah, we don't really need that. We're gonna have to go through Venice anyway. Unless we want to go down like this. Which we probably do. We probably do want to do that. So we might do that. Except, no, we don't want to go to war with... We don't really want to go to war with Rome. So we might just go like that. Which still involves going to war with Mantua. Who loves us, by the way. Oh, right. We should take a look at that little, uh diplomacy view thing and see if anyone is uh any interesting allies are available stuff like that not really although castile is pretty fucking close hmm who is allied with france Are all of our allies right now? It's like Sweden, France, Austria, Saxony. Saxony is kind of not that great compared to maybe getting Castile, especially since Castile is now like coming back into full force. Uh, they're going to become Spain soon. Uh, Castile might be on the on the plan. Do we have anything else? Also, designate March. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously we could do that. I don't think we want to do that. Royal marriage, support air, embargoes, subsidies, take on foreign debt, influence nation. That's fine. I don't really want to do any of that. What's our aggressive expansion? Uh, I think still quite high. Uh, yeah, it's still over 50 with some countries. And if you, didn't, if you don't know, 50 is the point at which they like absolutely will join a coalition. I think. I'm pretty sure. Um, so it's a, it's a little high, but uh, most of the people that it's high with have a truce against me, I believe. No? I have a truce against them? I have a truce against them for like at least a couple more years, which is probably not long enough <laughs> to actually get rid of the aggressive expansion. So we're probably going to see another big coalition and maybe another big coalition war. But we may have become unstoppable. Especially if France joined in this time, which, who knows. Do they owe us favors? 
Yeah, 30. Hmm. Naval doctrine. Oh. Okay. Do we want them to cost less? Galleys to be better? More trade power? Or chance to capture enemy ships? We are not allowed to have owned coast one because we're not British. Um, well, galleys I don't really see much of a value in. I mean, we might... Can you, ch you can change this later, right? Can you change this later? Because if you can change this later, I'll do the maintenance one, and maybe we'll change the galleys later if we need to go to war with the Ottomans. Uh, and we need to block them and do some sneaky shit. Still probably not going to be worth doing. Also, money is nice. But I don't have many ships to do that with. And also, this gives me money as well. So I think that's probably the one to do. When are you playing the Trier War? Uh... Probably right around when Switzerland starts to like me for real. Oh, Castile uh, is uh, Naples now. Castile owns owns Naples now. Yeah, Castile is uh, pretty fucking strong. We might sort of butt heads over Italy, but probably not, because we're just going east. We maybe would butt heads over this, but it's a little late for that one. Um, how is Castile looking? Do you think Castile could actually maybe take on the Ottomans at some time in the future? No. Not even fucking close. Muscovy is the best bet. And they're like half. Not even half as strong. Alright. Well, they're still good as far as anyone else is concerned. So, let's get this. Yeah. Let's get this claim on Genoa. And then do that. Fabricate claim. Oh, we need a claim on, uh... We need to claim on Trier, don't we? Let's take a look at that. Uh, declare war. We do not have a, a Casas Belli. Okay, so first first course of that. Also, who would join? Just Saxony. Not France. Not Sweden. Not Austria. Why? This, you owe me favors. Distant war. Fighting in another war. Oh, that makes sense. And they're allied to the enemy. Oh, Aust oh, Austria allied Trier. Or did they? Oh, I think it's just because I have no claim and they're part of the HRE. If I get a claim, it should be fine. Uh, so let's look at that. Maybe Austria will join. Also, we can do that little little raise whatever. Oh, we can also increase their trust. Can I make oh yeah, we can make them prepare for war once they're out of this war, which makes it a little more likely they'll join. We'll see. Please make me the Pope. I would really like to be the Pope. Like that extra diplomat, advisor cost, the tech cost, aggressive expansion impact minus 20. Like it's just fucking great. Oh, free advisor. Yearly inflation. Sure, why not? Eh, why not? Austria is the emperor, so they will protect electors. Oh, right. I forgot about that since they didn't get mad at all for me taking over an elector, but you're right. They do normally not like that. Uh... Oh, important decision. Do we want to institute a parliament? Do we want to get maximum absolutism up? Which I don't think is too important because I don't think we have any of that. Because it happens in the age of absolutism, which is... Uh... Uh, pretty far away, I think. <laughs> pretty far away. Um, so we would do nothing right now. And we can change these later, which makes me think that one's not the good, a good idea. Yearly army tradition decay. It's quite good. Production efficiency is just more money. And... It does not have consorts, does not have heirs. Term duration. Oh, I would become a. I would. I would become a, a, a union of states that vote and shit. I don't know about that one. 
Absolute monarchy, no parliament ever. I am the state, all hail the king, true Italian monarch. I agree with that. Uh, I'm not gonna, well, like three out of four, five of these are include just still being a monarchy. Um, do we want to uphold the ancient privileges of the estates? Or the ancient privileges of the nobility, which does include us. I think more... Mm, I think more money. I think I just want... 10%... What would that be? That's like almost an extra ducat. That's not that much. <laughs> That's not that much, actually. One extra ducat a month is not that much. Like, it's a good amount. I think I'm gonna go for nobility. Strengthen the nobility. Uh, to get less to get less of a decay on my army tradition, which just makes our, our troops better. Yeah, why not? Um, right, we need to do these. We need to not do that. No. Wait. No. No. Uh, can we convert anything? No. <laughs> No, we can't. Alright. Oh, did the Ottomans get bigger? Did the Ottomans border Austria before? I knew they were, like, to here, but I, I thought they weren't quite... Maybe they were. That's pretty bad. It's all reformed land, too. Okay. That's being converted to reformed. Look at that. Good, good luck... Europe, I'm a, uh, Bohemia's getting big again, kind of. That's something. Re, no step on the crown. Well, I mean, all I did was strengthen the nobility, which includes the king, so I don't, uh, think we're fine. Uh, what's this? Oh. Barbarians. Dude, fucking Italy has got quite a colony going on here. Like, the entire Caribbean. I mean, also England, really, is good, doing pretty well there. Oh. There's Granada. Uh, that's definitely not their first colony, because that wasn't there before, and we knew they had a colony. I don't remember how we knew that, but we knew that. But, yeah. Granada and Brazil, maybe. Culture and illusion. Yeah, okay. Good luck. I, I don't want any of this, so I'd be, you know, I'd be very happy if you took that. Wait, you're at war with Morocco. Allied with Ottomans. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, that, uh, Granada might do very well for themselves. They might come back from their little setback. Train your troops. Thank you. I, I was planning on doing that, and then I completely forgot. It. Thank you. Uh, train my troops. Yolof has collapsed. Well, who cares? They're hardly a country anyway. France still has their province there. They seem to have done no other colonizing at all. Which is good. They took over the last parts of Hungary. Yeah. No, I think this was like this for a little bit. Because I remember seeing Hungary being so small. But, uh... It hasn't been that long. They're probably even stronger then, right? About the same. Good. Don't, please don't get stronger, Ottomans. And the problem is, I can't even, like, bankroll a huge mercenary group to kill them. Because the Ottomans make fucking way more money than me. So, like, it wouldn't matter. If I did a bunch of... Oh, Castile is now my rival. Oh, so sweet. Great. Could have became friends, and this is what you do? Castile, we've got, like, bigger fucking fish to fry. Who are my rivals, by the way? Tunis, Venice, and Holland. Very small. Very small fry. But, whatever. Maybe it's because they want some of this stuff? That probably doesn't... No. I, no, they probably don't. Maybe. No, they don't, actually. Huh. Hmm. I don't know why I still have that as an interest, but whatever. Let's try access Aragon. Sure. Well, Castile hates me, but maybe Spain will like me. I don't think it changes at all, but maybe. Okay, all that's done. Good. Uh, Switzerland is starting to like me. Switzerland has rebels. Okay, let's go help Switzerland. 
Stand just outside while you're getting your shit back. Ah, Switzerland loves me now. Perfect. Will they vote for me? No. Why? Because they have really good diplomatic reputation from Austria. Alright. Well, we should still be able to get that high enough eventually, I, th I think. Vassals are also good for us. We make a lot of money off this. Okay, Sweden. Cool. The second Swedish... Oh, wait. Fuck. Wait a minute. Hey, I want... Uh, No, wait. Uh, Sweden, what do you want? You want that. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, thank you. Uh, I want... Uh, no, me. I want that and that. Sweet. Um... Just to complete that state. Uh, so we're going to war with uh, Norway, Scotland, and Holland. That should be fine. I accept. Yeah. Why not? Holland is actually a nice little addition too. D am I clear on the fact that I want all of Holland? Yeah. Thanks. We'll see what we get. They might give us something good. We can also piece out separate like we did last time. Sweden didn't really mind that much. I mean, we're still allies. Uh, hey. Come up here. Can you do coalition versus the Ottomans? Um. I can. I mean, I think I can join a coalition against them. But the problem is no one else is joining. Like, the Commonwealth is worried. But for some... They're at a minus 80. And they still are not in a coalition. Because they know they can't win. The AI won't join a coalition unless there's a chance of actually winning. Like, there's some sort of math that it does there. Uh, but on top of that, like, France wouldn't join, Castile wouldn't join, England, Sweden wouldn't join. So, we could, but this coalition still will not be strong enough. Just wondering if you're ever going to play any more of the autistic baby game Kingdom Hearts. I am, yeah, definitely. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it, to be honest. So, yes. That will be coming eventually. But for now, I just want to play some of this. Because this campaign's going really well. And it's also really interesting. Like, it's not... I really dislike the balance that usually is struck between you're either doing really well and the game becomes boring, or you're doing really badly and the game becomes excruciating. We're like, like at a nice in-between where, like, it's going well. We're still having problems. We're still having challenges. We still have this looming disaster of the Ottomans over our head. It's not bad. Uh, like, I like it. Uh, I don't want... <sighs> Fine. Um, Portugal and Granada are taken over. Portugal is not allied with Granada, right? Those are two separate wars? Yeah. Well, I hope Granada takes more than Portugal does. Because Portugal is allied with Castile. Also France, though. I don't like how these alliances are, are coming together. Uh, where are you? Yeah, go up there. Might need to kill Holland. Holland is pretty fucking strong, by the way. Maybe we should... Maybe we should, uh... Get them. You know? I mean, they're not an elector, but they're just good. Although their land would also be nice. I don't know. So, like, okay, I'm, I know that, like, usually, uh, diplomat, or, dip, what the fuck am I talking about? I'm, I'm trying to read this at the same time as, uh, making a coherent thought. I know that vassals usually give you more, um, troops than they would if you just took over the land, like, more than you'd get from the force limit from the land. But, I don't want to do that. Let's just siege them. But, I don't know if in this case, how much would it be different? Like, They've got 18,000 troops. How much do you think I would get out of just taking this land? Like... 10? That's not bad. I would take 10. But, like, less than that... Mm, I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's seize their forts. Let's take uh, this artillery. Put our leader with siege on it. And bring it to whichever one is his capital. Oh, this one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So are we not playing Monster Hunter? Well, I mean, I'm not streaming, like, forever. We should play it tonight. 
after I come back from mass. Cause yeah, that's why I'm not. That's why I'm not streaming later. Is I gotta go to mass later. So, like this just kind of worked out. Uh, okay, perfect. They locked in. Uh, <laughs> fucking idiots. Now they're gonna get a river crossing, and we're gonna be able to use our full force anyway. Cause we're right there. Yeah, they're morons. Holland is dead. Yeah, we should play Monster Hunter later though. That was really fun. Me and Dalton have been playing that. We played that yesterday. Uh, mm, ooh, oh, that extra missionary strength would be really fucking good. Uh, now let's do the same thing again. Hope they fall for it again. Because they're stupid. Although... Still be somewhat smart about this. What are we discovering? The Middle East? Eh. <laughs> Mushasha. It's going- this is going alright. I don't like that we're technically losing. We do have more troops though, by a fuck ton. Yeah, this probably doesn't help our- our war score, but... Hopefully Sweden will come and siege some of this and give some of it to us. Uh, what I want to check was, can we... Um... I guess we have to siege part of it to find out. I'm wondering if we can actually, like, vassalize these guys. I don't think we want to. I don't think we want to do that, actually. Oh, wait, I could probably just try a separate, and that might tell me. I cannot separate. Because we're both... Okay. Nah, uh, whatever. We'll find out. Why are we fighting Denmark? Because of the Swedes. Because the Swedes are trying to take over Norway and their friends, I think. It's fine, though. Like, we'll, we'll be absolutely fine. More settlers in Merrimack? Or 50 there? I can't afford two colonies. How many are here? 400? I can't get both of those. I mean, I guess I could. It would just go super slow with no colonists. In fact, I don't know if it would go at all. No, just put 50 in this one. Let's just be sensible about this. What are our missions, by the way? Those are missions. Assemble an army, have 80,000. It's not even that much. The Ottomans have like 200,000. But I mean, it's a lot for us. We don't have anywhere near that. I don't think. And not even if we had everything, we wouldn't even be half. Um, acquire subjects, have new, uh, two subjects. We are actually trying to do that. Build a treasury, 2,000 bucks. Yeah, right. Two electors backing Savoy. I'm trying. I am, I am trying. I'm conquering them, which seems to not be the best way of doing it. We're second place with that guy, though. With Switzerland. What the fuck is this? How's the Reformation going? Uh, not, not bad for them, I guess, which means very bad. They, con they converted every single province in Austria, but Austria has managed to fight that off, which is nice. Uh, but a lot of them are just dying to Muslims, so it really didn't 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 matter. What is this? I enjoyed the Crooked Man playthrough. It was pretty good for an RPG Maker game. Will you ever try the other games in the series? Maybe. You're gonna have to give me a couple months on that one though, because the thing is like, I've got post October uh, horror aversion. You know, like blew blew my load on horror for a while. I mean, at the very least, I guess in a year, <laughs> we might play some more of them. Because it'll be Halloween again, we'll need to play some sort of horror game. What? This is supposed to be from some video game soundtrack. What is... I gotta find out what this is. It won't tell me. Sonic CD. Oh. That's why it's so fucking hip. It's not quite as hip as Sonic Racing, but it works. Oh, right. We need to actually send our uh, send our leader over to make this go a little faster. Yeah, Ludovico. No, 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 no. Well, whatever. Just keep sieging. We're not getting sieged, right? Yes, we are. Uh, we'll ignore that. <laughs> Sorry, Switzerland. We're just gonna ignore that. 
hope you don't mind too much. Oh no, the Commonwealth is helping us. Why are we allied with the Commonwealth? I guess they are allies with Sweden. Yeah. Huh. Alright, well, that works. That's even better. Sonic 06 playthrough when? When I feel like killing myself. Nah, why would I play that? You know what I mean? I mean, it might be funny to laugh at, but there's too many good games. I mean, I mean, I like playing shit games occasionally. By the way, shit game stream is probably coming up soon, because I've got a few of them that people have gifted me. Uh, although it depends, because the guy who gifted them to me is, like, off doing something. Like, he's he's got some real-life responsibilities or some shit that he's doing, so he hasn't been able to watch any of the streams. He was telling me this. And so, like, I don't think he actually wants me to stream any of them. So I might have to wait on that. I don't really know what's going to happen with that one. But I've also got a bunch of Steam, like, a bunch of Steam keys that have been given to me by developers. Where the developers want me to play their game. And, uh, we could try some of those. I know at least one of the games is good, because actually the developer of Dead Cells gave me- Or not Dead Cells. Dead- Is it Dead Cells? The one that's actually good. The one that looks alright. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, well, these guys are, are fucked. Yeah. Also, we've been going at full speed this entire war. That's the most dangerous thing I've done in my life. Can we take over anything? Nah, see, Holland would be too big to take over as a vassal. That's what I was wondering. We could probably take some shit here. Uh, people would be very mad. But I don't care. Really, really do not care. That would be 95, just those two provinces. How good are these provinces? I know they're, they're good, but like 10... Oh, 23. Yeah, 23, and it's also their capital. I guess I understand. Oh, 25! That's like one of the better ones in the whole... Oh, uh, it's pretty good. It's, it's no 45, but it's pretty good. Oh, fuck, there's a 36 right here. Austria got lucky getting that. Uh, well, let's chase them. 